Hey Camp Arcadia family, I'm so excited to have the opportunity to worship with you this morning. Um, it's such a privilege and a blessing to be able to gather together um, as a family of God, even apart, um, singing praises to God's name. Um, so we're going to start with a song that's probably familiar to a lot of you. It's called How Deep the Father's Love for Us. I do want to acknowledge um, this is Oliver, my cat, who's making an appearance in the background. Um, he likes to sing along too. How deep the Father's love for us, how vast beyond all measure, that he should give his only son to make a wretch's treasure. are those words true for us? That we have a God who loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us on the cross. And that truly is a deep love from our father. A song that's been coming to my heart a lot um, <clears throat> is another one that I hope is familiar for you. Um, it's a song called Lord I Need You. Um, and I think that even in the best of times, um, this is a, such a reminder to me um, that I need to be turning to God over and over and over and over again, um, not just at the start of every day, but um, really every minute of every day to turn to God and say, you know, I need you in my life. Um, you're changing my life. You're shaping my life. You're leading my life. Um, and so, Lord, I want to recognize um, your presence in my life. So um, together, let's sing, Lord, I Need You. Lord, I come, I confess, bowing here, I find my rest. Without you, I fall. You're the one 
God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Lord God, how indeed we need you in our lives. We need your presence, we need your grace, we need your mercy, and we need your never-ending love. God, I give you thanks for the opportunity to worship, um, the opportunity to sing your praise, the opportunity to, to join uh, in voices together, the opportunity to join voices together um, across county lines, across state lines. Um, the opportunity to really turn our eyes and focus on you in the middle of this day, Lord. God, I ask that um, you would fill me with your spirit um, as I speak um, and reflect upon uh, your words of truth. In your holy name we pray. Amen. This morning, we're going to take a look at a text from John 21. I have to be honest, this is one of my favorite stories that's in the gospel. Um, and so I'm excited. We're going to start with verse, the first verse. Later, Jesus appeared again to the disciples beside the Sea of Galilee. This is how it happened. Several of the disciples were there. Simon Peter, Thomas, Nathaniel, the sons of Zebedee, and two other disciples. Simon Peter said, I'm going fishing. We'll come too, they all said. So they went out in the boat but they caught nothing all night. At dawn, the disciples saw Jesus standing on the beach, but they couldn't see who he was. He called out, friends, have you caught any fish? No, they replied. Then he said, throw your net on the right hand side of the boat and you'll get plenty of fish. So they did and they couldn't draw in the net because there were so many fish in it. Then the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, it is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard it was the Lord, he put on his tunic, jumped into the water and swam ashore. The other stayed with the boat and pulled the loaded net to the shore for they're only about 300 feet. When they got there, they saw a charcoal fire was burning and fish were frying over it and there was bread. Bring some of the fish you've just caught, Jesus said. So Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore. There were 153 large fish, and yet the net had not torn. Now come and have some breakfast, Jesus said. No one dared ask him if he really was the Lord because they were sure of it. Then Jesus served them the bread and the fish, and this was the third time Jesus had appeared to his disciples since he had been raised from the dead. John chapter 21, verses 1 through 14. There are so many things to unpack in this story. The part that I really want to focus on is from verse 11. So Simon Peter went aboard and dragged the net to the shore. There were 153 large fish, and yet the net had not torn. You know, I don't know what your large fish are right now. Um, whether it's it's a, a wet, smelly, slimy fish of isolation. Um, whether it's a wet, smelly fish of anxiety or financial concern. Or your family that you've been trapped in a house with feels like a wet, slimy, smelly fish. Or the people who you're not able to connect with, the loneliness. I don't know what your fish are, but I do know that in this story, the net hadn't torn. Now, if we think about a pattern of a net, right? Um, it's that it's this this pattern, right, where everything is woven together. Um, and if you really stop and you really look at a net, you'll notice that it's made up of tiny little crosses. I love this analogy. I love this way of um, thinking about that net that didn't tear as a community that is bound together. A group of tiny little crosses, a group of, of 
Christians, a group of believers um, who are clinging not only tightly to each other, but are actually connected by clinging tightly to the promises that we are given in God's word. The promises to never forsake us. The promises to walk with us through the valley of the shadow of death. The promises to be with us in the highs and lows of our life. The promises of, of love that comes only through the sacrifice of Christ on the cross. The promises to raise us up on wings like eagles. It is in those promises that we are bound together as this net that as a community carries all of these wet, slimy fish out. So I don't know what your 153 are, but I hope and pray that as you're trying to drag those 153 wet, slimy fish around, that you know that you're in community, that you know that you are held together through the promises of Christ, that you know that um, you have a connect um, with people, whether it's your neighbor, whether it's your family through Camp Arcadia, um, and that you know that you can reach out to this community that is bound together in Christ to feel connected and to know that you're not alone as we carry around um, some of these challenges. It's also my hope and prayer that, that in this net of community that isn't torn, um, that you feel free from those fish, that you feel the freedom in Christ, um, that you feel his peace and his love as you cling to those promises that bind us together. So to close out our time of devotion together this morning, um, I would like to finish actually with a new song. Um, it was a recently released song. It's called The Blessing. Um, and it takes so many of those promises that were given in scripture, like um, what is repeated in the New Testament, the Lord bless you and keep you, make his face shine upon you. Um, the blessing that we frequently hear at the end of a worship service as we as we depart the physical walls of the church and walk out into the world um, to be God's missionaries. Um, and this song has just really been on my heart a lot um, as I think about the words and as I think about the lyrics, um, as I think about I'm really speaking these words in prayer over another person. And so what I'm going to invite you to do is in the comment section of this video, um, I'm going to ask that you write, type in the names of the people in your household um, who you would like to pray for. So for example, if I were to type in there, I would say Jess because um, I am the person in my household. Um, if the May family were watching, they would type in Chip, Sarah, Charlie, Kate, and Grace. Um, and so, and what we're going to ask you to do is that, um, you type that in and then the person who comments before you is the person or the family that we're going to ask you to pray for today, um, to really, truly sing this song of blessing, um, over them, um, as you worship together with us. So the first person who comments, you don't have anybody in front of you. And so I'm going to invite you to pray for the Camp Arcadia management team. So that's Chip, that's Rachel, that's Taryn, that's Tyler, that's Franco, and that's myself. Um, so that's the six of us who I would love to invite you to be praying for as you sing this song of blessing. I'm going to be uh, leading it on the keyboard this morning. Um, and so I invite you to join along in singing with us. Lord bless you.
Bless us and keep us this day. Amen. Thanks for worshiping with us, Camp Arcadia. We are so blessed that when we gather together, um, the Lord gathers with us. Have a great rest of your day.